2018 was tough because I'd pretty much decided that I was done. I didn't want to keep I didn't want to keep playing anymore because I wasn't enjoying anything about tennis anymore. I wasn't enjoying the training, wasn't enjoying the matches. Winning was not fun either. I mean, a lot of things happened the last couple of years, but you certainly realize some things kind of when you get through the other side of like your issues. I remember better now what's you know what's important um, you know the health is your number number one priority and you know your family and stuff when I was going through this you know I was worried about worrying about tennis and oh if I can't play tennis anymore what am I going to do but the last sort of three months after I had the the second operation on my hip the resurfacing I kind of realized all of that because my pain was gone and then I was just able to do day-to-day -day things with my family that I hadn't been able to do for you know a long time and I was I was happy and I was enjoying enjoying life again which you know certainly wasn't for the sort of 18 months previous. What does the future hold for you what goals have you set for the new season are they are they high goals or are they quite modest goals because you're with Rafa and Novak last week at the Davis Cup you know are, are you closer to them now in terms of your game? Well Look, I mean, I could set goals and say, you know, I want to win Wimbledon, want to do all of those things. But actually, again, that's one of the things that I sort of learned, you know, over this last period is that, you know, winning tennis matches is nice, but it's not, you know, it's not the most important thing. I, I want to try to be healthy next year, but also the reason why I play tennis is not just to win Wimbledon or anything like that. I play tennis because I love it. And that's why I started playing in the first place. Um, something that maybe you forget when you're competing and become a professional you know that you forget that this is why you got into the sport you end up putting lots of pressure on results and rankings and things like that but ultimately so long as i'm i'm pain free and playing tennis you know i do it because because i love it we're in the run-up to an election run up to brexit you know if the tennis thing doesn't work out could you see yourself ever going into politics to sort the whole mess out not in the current climate that's for sure you've got to stay well clear of that um <laughs> But I always I do always take an interest in politics but yeah it's a bit of a shambles just now <laughs>